Okay, good morning, uh, good afternoon, or good evening, kung kailan nyo man pinapanood tong video. So, now sa midterm na tayo, we will start with the second part of Module 4, Immediate Inference. So, katatapos lang ng square of oppositions, ngayon naman, ang ating topic ay equivalence of propositions. So, tandaan niyo dito sa topic na to na equivalence of propositions, dalawa lang ang kailangan ma-master niyo. Apat na klase yung equivalence, pero sa sa pang-apat at pangatlo, combination na siya ng first and second. So, kailangan ma-master ma niyo talaga yung first and second. So, what is equivalence of propositions? Ito, tandaan nyo ito. Ha? Kailangan na uh, definition ito memorize nyo or at best naintindihan nyo para madali na lang yung mga conversion, overshoot processes. Okay, so it is the formulation of a new proposition either by interchanging the subject and predicate and or by the use or omission of negatives. So yan ang tatandaan ninyo ngayon. Una, it is a formulation of a new proposition. So, bago talaga. Pero yung subject at predicate niya ay the same. So, may isang proseso na ang ginagawa, interchange. So, pinagpapalit niya yung subject and predicate. Pag sinasabing interchange the subject and predicate, interchange mo yung position. So, yung subject maging predicate, yung predicate maging subject. At ang pangalawang proseso ay ang paggamit o pagtanggal ng negatives. Okay? Papakita ko sa inyo yan sa so next slide. So, in this operation, we transform certain propositions into new propositions which are equivalent in meaning. Hindi nagbabago yung meaning niya. Same pa rin. Nagbago yung itsura but the meaning is the same but which may have different logical forms. So, ito yun. So, iba na yung forma niya, like yung subject naging predicate, yung predicate naging subject, pero the meaning is the same. Okay? So, ito yung types of eduction. Eduction ng isa pang tawag sa equivalence of proposition. So, you have conversion, aversion, contraposition, and inversion. Gaya ng nabanggit ko kanina, sa apat na to, ang pinaka-importante na dapat ay naisa puso nyo itong conversion and aversion. Dahil ang contraposition at inversion ay combination lang ng dalawa. Okay? So, kita nyo yung, yung O. O ay aversion, C ay conversion. So, ganun din. Dito, kita tingnan mo yung sa full contraposition. So, combination ng aversion, conversion, aversion. And the same with inversion. Combinations lang din ng O, C, O, C. Gets? So, conversion and aversion, ito yung mamastery natin. Let's start with conversion. Conversion is the process of changing one proposition into another simply by rearranging the terms. Ulit. Rearranging the terms. Ha? Paano mo i-rearrange yung terms? So, interchanging the subject and predicate terms. In other words, you switch the positions of the subject and predicate. Huh? So, halimbawa, ito yung, ito yung subject and then uh, ito si predicate. So, sinasabing interchange or switch position, si predicate magiging subject and then si subject mapupunta sa predicate. So, yun lang. Ganyan. Oh. Ben. Oh, napakadali. Okay? 
And now, remember, remember this. Uh, the converse is logically equivalent only for universal negative and particular affirmative. I tsaka ay. Ah, kadali. O, oh, diba? Ito lang yung tandaan nyo na yung conversion, pwede lang siya sa E and I. Okay? Now, o, oh, syempre, eh, meron palang exception. Oh, I'll show you. So, two types of conversion, simple and partial conversion. So, sa simple conversion, again, no, paulit-ulit, o, oh, Interchange o ipagpalit ang posisyon ng subject and predicate. It takes place only when the quantity of the subject and predicate terms of the convertent is the same. Okay? So, E and I, yung quantity ng subject and predicate terms are parehong universal. Okay? Subject and predicate, predicate, sorry, predicate terms of E and uh, of E are both universal. Sa pagdating naman sa I, ganon din. Ang subject term and predicate term ng I are parehong particular. Kaya kung pagpapalitin mo yan, hindi magbabago yung meaning. Okay? So ito yung, ito yung una nating example. Halimbawa yung E. So, ito yung given. No squares are round objects. So, pag sinabi sa inyong convert, magiging no round objects are squares. So, yung predicate natin na round objects, ngayon ay nagiging subject. Ito na. At yung squares, na subject, ngayon ay predicate na. Titingnan, tingnan nyo yung logical form, nagbago, di ba? Kasi yung position ng subject and predicate nagpalit. But, the meaning is the same. So, no squares are round objects. So, walang square na bilog. At kung i-convert mo yun, and conversely, walang Bilog na square. Same, di ba? Okay? O, tingnan natin itong pangalawang example. I naman ngayon. I proposition. Okay. Some SRP. Some toys are objects made of plastic. Conversely, pag i-convert mo yan, some objects made of plastics are toys. So, yung predicate natin na objects made of plastic, o nga pala, yung predicate ay yung after ng copula, yun ang buong predicate, after ng copula. Tandaan nyo yan, yung copula natin ang, ang sign na after that, the whole set, yun yung predicate natin. Kaya the whole thing, yun ang ililipat natin, gawin nating subject. So, some objects made of plastics. So, from predicate, naging subject siya. At yung toys na subject natin dun sa given ay nagiging predicate. Nagbago yung form, pero the meaning is the same. Now, some toys are, made, are objects made of plastic. Tama? Okay. Now, kung sasabihin mo, some objects made of plastics are toys. Nagbago ba ang meaning? Nope. I don't think so. It's the same. Okay? Now, next. Ayun ah, pala. Meron pala naman na kung animation. So, predicate naging subject. Subject naging predicate. Again. Yung subject naging predicate at ang predicate ay naging subject. Okay. That's simple conversion. So, E and I lang ang pwedeng simple conversion kasi 
yung quantity ng subject and predicate is the same. Kaya pwede mong pagpalitan, hindi magbabago yung meaning. Now, what about A and O? A and O have no simple conversions. Wala. Hindi mo pwedeng pagpapalitin ang subject and predicate ng A and O. Except, ah, tinan mo yung except. Exception. Except, kung ang A proposition is singular, singular, essential definition, or characteristic property. Okay? Example ng singular. Ito. Ito yung example ng singular. Pinoy is the president of the Philippines. Balik ta rin mo yan, the president of the Philippines is Pinoy. It's the same. Okay? My school is De La Salle University. De La Salle University is my school. It's the same. So, yun yung singular. So, pwede yun. Hmm? Okay? Pero pag universal yung A, no simple conversion. Okay. Except, ito na naman. Essential definition. Yun bang, um, ito yung example ng essential definition. Okay? All men are rational animals. Ah, Siyempre, including women. All men and women are rational animals. Pagbalik ta rin mo yun, all rational animals are men and women. Nothing has changed. The same meaning kahit nagbago yung kanyang form. So all human beings are rational animals. All rational beings, all rational animals are human beings. Okay? Uh, pwede rin ano eh, uh, all whales are mammals. Ay, hindi pwede kasi hindi all mammals are whales. So, ano yung karakteristik, uh, ano yung definition ng ano, isang bagay na what makes uh, a thing a thing? So, yun yung essential definition. Can you think of another example? Na essential definition na kung wala yun, hindi yun yun. <laughs> uh, ano ba? What makes a, thing, a chair a chair? Ganun. So a chair, uh, all chairs are materials or, or are objects for, for sitting. Yeah? And all objects for sitting are chairs. What do you think? Okay. Uh, third is characteristic property. Characteristic property ay yung sa kanya lang yung property na yung right? all human beings are capable of morality. All those who are capable of morality are human beings. Diba? Wala naman kasing ibang capable of morality, human beings lang. Di naman pwede yung, yung aso o pusa o di kaya yung yung puno, di ba? So, characteristic property, pwede yung i-convert. Simple. Simple conversion. Okay? Ang O wala talaga. Hindi talaga pwede yung O. Uh, example na, ang O na hindi pwede. Uh, some, some dogs are not are not carnivorous or carnivores. Ibig sabihin ng carnivores yung kumakain ng karne. So, some dogs are not carnivores. Some carnivores are not dogs. Nah, not the same meaning. Uh, some, ba, some cars are not... Mm, are not what? Some cars are not expensive. Some expensive things are not cars. Nagbago yung meaning from the first proposition. Diba? So, hindi pwede ang O. Kasi nabubura niya lahat eh. Not, not, not. Okay. 
the in o the particular subject of the convertent becomes a universal okay so um ang pag sinasabing nagiging universal yung predicate sa sa o proposition kasi yung kanyang subject ay particular sabi sum s particular yun ang kanyang predicate ay universal kasi lahat ng pag negative proposition predicate non universal kaya kung pagpalitin mo yon magiging universal yung subject tapos nagiging predicate yung ah, nagiging particular yung predicate that will not do okay so in this example some dogs are not cocker span spaniels oh, then nagiging some cocker spa spaniels are not dogs so hindi pwede kasi uh, though yung given ay true yung converse niya are by false Diba? Some cockers, spaniels are not dogs. Ano sila? Pusa? Yeah, see? Okay? Now, that's simple conversion. Sa uh, partial conversion, it is a process of reformulating the truth of a proposition by reducing the quantity of the convertent from universal to particular. So, A to I, pwede. E to O, pwede. But since E can be simply converted, hindi na masyadong ginagamit tong partial conversion ni E. Okay? Example nito, oh, from A to I, all chicos are fruits. Yung fruits, which is the predicate, and then chicos subject. So yung chicos nagiging predicate, and then si subject, na uh, si predicate na fruits magiging subject. And the meaning must not change, di ba? All chicos are fruits. So, tao naman. Then, some fruits are chicos. So, tao din yun. Okay? With the E to O, it's the same thing. Pwede rin, actually. So, no men are brute animals. Some brute animals are not men. Some brute animals are dogs, di ba? Okay? So, anong rule ng conversion? First, Interchange mo yung subject and predicate. Well, that's easy. Okay? So, sa simple conversion, retain the quality. So, like, E to E. So, universe, uh, quality. Negative, negative. And then, I to I. Affirmative to affirmative. And then, with simple conversion, re you retain the quantity. So, universal, universal pa rin. Particular, particular pa rin. However, in partial conversion, you reduce the quantity so from A to I, from universal to particular. So, reminder, all propositions, no conversion. A propositions, no simple conversion except if it is singular, essential definition, or characteristic property. Okay? So, ito yung table. You can also memorize this if you want. If you don't want to memorize the rules, so ito na lang. May iba may photographic memory. Titingnan lang nila yan. Okay na. Okay? So, A. So, A to A to I. E to E. I to I. And then O, nada. So, ang um, A, pwede siyang simple if, oh, remember the, the exceptions, ha? Huh? And then, E to O, pwede rin. Oh, remember din. Hindi eh, natin masyado magamitin yan kasi okay na yung simple conversion.